Yo, Kepe Sky here. What's going on? You? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have made some new friends in Top Tez. This is their handheld sound level meter, or as we know it, your SPL meter. Now, this is really nice to have because this allows you to sit down and really dial in your home theater or a lot of other things that you need to measure the sound of. So, this is a really cool device here. And they actually sent two of them. I have two microphones here, one for a giveaway. So if you guys want to win your own SPL meter free of charge, get down in the comment section and leave me hashtag mic me up down below in the comment section. I'm just gonna randomly pick somebody to win in the next day, 24 hours. I'm picking somebody, just that easy. So mic me up down below in the comment section if you wanna win the secondary um, mic right here. But let's talk about what we have. You actually get a couple cool goodie bags here. So in the box, you have, of course, the microphone itself. You have your user's manual for several different languages. And then you have a little carrying pouch too. So you can put it inside like a little sleeve or whatever and keep not only this protected, but the microphone protected too. And to further go on the protection, the microphone actually is um, protected underneath this here. So here's the microphone itself. It has its own cover. So th those are some really cool things. And then it has a windscreen on the front too as well. So this is a half inch mic and uh, has a lot of cool features on it. So let's get into the screen here. All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is use this microphone to measure my speaker's SPL and try to get all my speakers in my home theater to read the same information. But before we do that, we need to know what all this can do. So starting with the back, this actually is a battery door. You can unscrew this on the back. They do provide batteries for you, so pop those in, and then you have a working microphone. The microphone at top is a half inch microphone, as you guys can see there. It has a windscreen on top of it to keep, of course, wind noise out if you're outside or dust from getting inside the microphone. So it's really nice to see. Now we have a really big screen here and I really like this screen. And the way you turn this on is by pressing that button here. You're gonna press and hold it for just a second and all your information is going to pop up here on the screen. So there's a lot of things to go through. Let's start off with the top left corner here. So this actually measures Fahrenheit and Celsius, the temperature of the device itself. It kind of does a little bit with the room, but in your hand, it does get warmer. So it measures the overall temperature of the device to make sure you're not overheating. And then on the far right, excuse me, far right, is your humidity percentage. So 41.6, 41.5 and in, in, in declining. It just measures the humidity within the environment at the moment. Now you have the fast button here, and the fast button says what, how fast you're reading your decibels. So you guys can see that this actually is moving really quickly. We have an F and S button at the very bottom right corner, and if you press this, it'll change from fast to slow, which means that your readings are a little bit easier to see. So you guys can see it's measuring my voice, and you can, and you can see the changes in decibels. If you want a faster reading, you can change it to fast by pressing the FS button, and all my readings are now a little bit quicker. So if you want to, you can also freeze this screen here with this button here. The H means hold. So if I want to pause this, I can press this button, and it will pause the screen on its last reading. So this is what it detects my, vo my voice is producing. This is the humidity. Humidity, this is the temperature. So now I'm holding or pausing the screen and I can just press hold to resume. Now we see there's another icon there. That is your sunlight button. This actually is a backlit screen. So if you press and hold this button, it now allows you to light the screen up. So if you are using this in a darker room at night in a home theater system, you can actually see that it lights up. So this is a lot easier to use. Now, we have a C and F rating here. So we discovered this is your temperature reading. You can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius here. So press a button and you can change from Celsius back to Fahrenheit. You guys can see that at the top left corner, it is changing from Fahrenheit to Celsius, depending on where you are in the world. Canada uses Celsius, America uses Fahrenheit, and so on and so forth. So if you press and hold this, you can actually change its weight setting. Right now, right next to the reading here, you see an A. We are now in A weight mode. You can press and hold the CNF button to change to a C weight so that you can change how you want to measure your, uh, your SPL, measure your speakers, measure your voices, things like that. Now the last button that's here is the minimum and maximum button. So if we put this back on fast here, you see we're having a hard time really reading things because it's moving too quickly. Well, we can see our max, um, this is my max reading. This is the highest the mic detected my voice within using it the last minute or two. I can press it again and this is the minimum reading that the mic detected my voice at 48.6. So you can switch and see what your max reading not only was for your voice or your speakers, whatever you're measuring, but the temperature and everything as well also goes from min to max as well. 
and then of course you can press and hold it and you're back into you know your regular measuring mode so really cool microphone should be really good for most people now you may be wondering all right really cool microphone but what can it measure what are the frequencies that it can detect it has a pretty broad frequency spectrum this microphone can detect frequencies down from 30 hertz all the way up to 8,000 hertz. So it has a pretty good range. So it's gonna be able to measure pink noise, which is what we're gonna be using to measure my speakers. You can play pink noise through your speakers, measure that with this microphone and get all your ratings to be how you want it. And it measures within a half a second. So if I put it on fast, it changes within half a second of something being different, detecting something different as far as, far as the SPL goes. So it's a very quick responding microphone and you can slow it down to better read it. So let's go ahead and get into the living room. We're gonna turn on the sound system and play some pink noise. And we're gonna to try to get all our disciples to be the same at my seating position. And I'll show you guys how to do all right, that. guys, so we are sitting in the, the microphone position. You wanna have your microphone sitting pretty much where you're going to be at your level. So of course, I'm gonna hold it for video purposes, but find a tripod or hold it here where you sit and you wanna play a test tone through all of your speakers. And typically they say you want your speakers to be about I don't know, 75 or 80 dB maybe, when you're running your pink noise, you wanna to try to get that here. So I'm gonna go through all my speakers. I'll just do two speakers to use as an example of getting these down to about 75, let's say 80 dB, I'm gonna do 80 dB. So I'm gonna turn on my front, my front left speaker. There you go. And so I can actually, it's hard for you guys to see, but of course, what we're doing here is watching the meter and we're waiting, we're turning down the levels until we get to 80 dB. So we can switch to the right speaker. So this one's a little bit lower than the left speaker was by a few dB. So we wanna go to our levels and turn it up until we reach about that same dB level. So we want both speakers where I'm sitting at to both be at 80 dB. So we know my left one is now there and we can go to my right one again. And we can turn up the right one until we get to 80 dB, which we're just about there. So let's see. There. So that's how you set your speakers with a microphone. You wanna put this on a tripod or something or hold it steady where your ear level kind of is. Go through all your speakers and find a set dB, 75, 80 dB, and you wanna measure each speaker until all speakers at your listening position are the same. Don't worry about the numbers on the screen being different. When you're setting your levels, you're gonna see one say negative six, one say negative 0.5, one say positive three. It does not too much matter as long as what you hear at your seat is all the same volume level, regardless of what's coming out of the speakers necessarily. So that's how you use an SPL meter here. And this is perfect for this. Again, it's gonna do frequencies between 30 Hertz and uh, I think it was what, 8,000 Hertz and it, it reads all the way up to about 130 decibels. So it can get some pretty loud measurements back for you if you need it to. So thank you so much to Top Test for sending this out to me. All right, guys, that was just a small little demonstration. It's more in depth to, to setting your levels, but that's really what you wanna do with a microphone like this. You wanna sit down somewhere in your home theater and put a decibel meter out and see what your speakers are doing. Measure your subwoofers, throw some peak noise to each speaker and see, hmm, I wonder if my left speaker is louder than my right speaker? Is my surround back speaker louder than my side surround speakers? You can use this decibel meter to measure your, your SPL and really dial in your system so that all your tones are reaching your ear at the same level. Now, this is, isn't just for measuring home theater. You can measure anything that produces any type of volume if you desire. So this is a very versatile piece of equipment and I'm very happy to have this as I'll use this throughout my, pretty much the rest of my life tuning up my home theater and maybe even my friends and family members as well. So thank you so much to Top Test for sending this out for review. Remember, there is a second one. I do have another one right here in this box. It's unopened and I will send it straight to you. So if you wanna be one of those giveaway winners, make sure you leave mic me up in the description or excuse me, in the comment section, hashtag mic me up and I will randomly pick somebody to win in the next day. I usually respond via comment. I'll just pick you in the comment section and I'll shout you out in the next video. So you'll have a, a good way of knowing that you won. Um, so remember guys, if you're not a subscriber, I don't give away to people who aren't subscribed just because I like to give back to those who gave me a platform to speak on. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you in the next video. K-Base Guy out. Peace.
You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down